This is DBC. Former Panamanian dictator Manuel Noriega has died at the age of 83, this following a long and complicated history with the United States. To CNN and Legacy.com, Noriega had undergone surgery in a Panama City hospital on March 7th to remove a benign brain tumor. Doctors placed him in a medically induced coma after he suffered severe brain hemorrhaging during the surgery. Noriega has a notorious history with the United States. Born in 1934, he entered the Panama National Guard after finishing school, became a close confidant of Omar Torrijos, who took power as dictator of Panama in 1968. Noriega was appointed chief of military intelligence by Torrijos. Noriega also worked as a paid CIA asset throughout the 1970s and was involved in assisting the United States in backing the Salvadorian government against the leftist Salvadorian insurgency. Noriega also served as a conduit for the U.S.-backed Contra militants in Nicaragua. Noriega became the military dictator of Panama in 1983, following a power struggle that began after Omar Torrijos died in a plane crash in 1981. In 1989, Noriega declared a Panamanian presidential election when it became clear that his political opposition had won the vote. In the months that followed as tensions increased between Panama and the U.S., the Panamanian Defense Forces engaged in a series of hostile actions against U.S. troops and civilians, including the December 16th killing of U.S. Marine Robert Taz at a military roadblock. Four days later, the U.S. invaded Panama under the orders of President George H.W. Bush. ...to resolve this crisis through diplomacy and negotiations. All were rejected by the dictator of Panama, General Manuel Noriega, an indicted drug trafficker. Last Friday, Noriega declared his military dictatorship to be in a state of war with the United States and publicly threatened the lives of Americans in Panama. The very next day, forces under his command shot and killed an, un an unarmed American serviceman, wounded another, arrested and brutally beat a third American serviceman. During the invasion, Noriega took refuge at the Holy See's embassy in Panama. As the United States was prevented by treaty from entering the embassy of the Holy See, U.S. troops set up a perimeter around the embassy and employed psychological warfare, such as the constant blaring of rock music to get Noriega to surrender. He finally surrendered on January 3, 1990, and was detained as a prisoner of war, then taken back to the United States. Noriega will be remembered as having had a complex relationship with the United States. Noriega was the U.S.'s ally against the Sandista regime in Nicaragua, leading the United States to knowingly overlook the fact that Noriega had possible ties to drug dealing. However, when Noriega was labeled a threat and was out of control, the United States disowned him as an ally, invaded Panama, deposed him from power, and put him on trial for his crimes. All in all, Noriega is the latest dictator to pass on into the history books. Zion Dakota, DBC News. Informational courtesy for this edition of The World This Week is brought to you by Legacy.com.